Thank you for having me. I am ready to be 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 super rich. <laughs> Richer than rich. Filthy rich. Just so rich. Good. What do I need to do? I meditate. <laughs> I'm ready. It is our wish that you understand the contradiction in your own statement. I do. Because if you're ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready, here's a helpful answer to you. When you are ready to be ready to be ready as you are, and we feel that readiness in terms of desire and not much meditation will help you to be really ready in terms of vibration, then follow your impulses. You see, here's the thing. And we're happy that you've looped back around here in such a pointed way. If you're ready to be ready, oh. We are so happy to get to say this to you right now, to all of you. If you're ready to be ready, then it's enough for right now. And then if you're ready to be ready, that too is satisfying. And the super rich thing over there isn't even in your mind because that activates a crevasse of lack between what you've got and what you've got. So when you're really ready to be ready, then you say, oh, I'm having such satisfying feelings these days. Oh, I feel so good to be alive. Mm, really good thoughts are coming to me. And as it gets closer and closer and closer to bursting into where money starts avalanching into your experience, those ideas will feel different than these ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. Do you have a format right now through which lots of dollars can flow? Yes. Do you have a business already in place? Yes. Is it a business that's already sort of established and is there a steady cash flow from it? Yes. Is the cash flow steady enough that it doesn't take much for it to move into that place where you are feeling that a lot of money could come fast? Yes. Does it feel to you that you've already received the idea that will take it there? Yes. So not only are you ready to be ready to be ready, but you feel like you already have the idea to take it there. Are you a vibrational match enough to that idea? That that idea is expanding into things that feel like the next logical step for you? I don't know. Yeah. You're ready to be ready to be ready, but here's the thing. You don't want to rush your readiness because the desire to be cleanly rich. I know beautifully rich. Can you feel that there's a gap that's still there? There's an awareness that something hasn't happened that's still dominant. And in that wanting to get over that edge, there's some dissatisfaction that's keeping you from getting over the edge. God, yes. So it's about really feeling the satisfaction, feeling blessed with the idea, feeling so blessed that the idea came, feeling eager that the idea will flesh out, feeling eager that the idea will blossom into something that feels like an action ready to take. It must be really annoying to anyone who's ready to jump into action to listen to all of this theoretical conversation about laws of the universe and vortexes that you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch. You've got to find some way that this conversation is satisfying before it can morph into the explosion of what you're talking about. Oh, I see. You see, dollars that flow. They're just evidence of the vibrational currency that you've got going on. It's just the next logical step. But most people have practiced lack of dollars, lack of dollars, lack of dollars. So they'll allow abundance of vitality or abundance of invigoration or abundance of friendships or abundance of love. They'll allow abundance of sunsets. They'll get so good that they'll catch every sunset every single time. There are so many people that will allow abundance of one thing and another, just not abundance of money yet because they've practiced the thought of not enough money so much. They've been close on making their payments and worried about money and they've been measuring money with action and how much do you get per hour and what's your salary and what's your talent worth and how much can you perform and why has your performance earned more money than that performance? People are all wadded up out here in the manifestations of money. And if you would just step back from those manifestations of money and talk about energy, which means talk about satisfaction, you want to be filthy, rich with enthusiasm, filthy, rich with happiness filthy rich with satisfaction I'm so rich with really good ideas I'm so rich with happiness when I wake up in the morning that's what you've got to be ready for and when you get there so that you feel that way no matter what the state of money is then the state of money must match the state of vibration it's law what happens to most people is that their vibration matches their state of money 
Because they just keep looking at it and talking about it and measuring it and complaining it and worrying about it and trying to take action and being unproductive in it and eking through it and asking somebody else. Government, give me money. Mother and dad, give me money. Lawsuit, give me money. Give me this big pile of money. And if you don't have a big pile of money, you're not ready. You're not vibrationally ready for a big pile of money if you don't have a big pile of money. If you were ready for a big pile of money, you'd have a big pile of money. But if you're not ready for a big pile of money, you can't let the big pile of money in. And we got to tell you, there are big piles of money. It is raining. The world is awash in money. You've been hearing about it. Aren't you just bowled over by how much money some of those people have? And how do you feel about them, bastards? <laughs> Why should they have all of that money? They should put it in a big pot and we should divvy it all out. And if you did, it wouldn't take 10 years before the money would be right back where it is. You see, you got to be ready for money. You got to be ready for money, which means you got to be happy without it. Which means you've got to be cashing in your vibrational chips. You got to be thankful for this day and thankful for this chair and thankful for this opportunity and thankful for this conversation and thankful for that sunshine and for those highways. Thankful for this, appreciating of that. Thankful for the quieted mind. Thankful for the insight. Thankful for the enthusiasm. Thankful for the love in my heart. Thankful for that precious face. Thankful for this person I've never met in my life and on the elevator had such a nice exchange with not even any words because there was a language barrier, but oh my God, how good it was to meet you. Thankful, 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 thankful. Thankful, 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 thankful. Thankful just brings more and more and more and more and more. And argumentative doesn't. It's great. It is. <laughs> Thank you. Really good conversation. Thank you. Can you sort of kind of feel how you're in a different vibrational place? Can you feel that just from listening in and your participation that you are ready to be ready in a way that you weren't ready to be ready before you were ready to be ready? Can't you feel your readiness? We've been a little obnoxious here, but in your experience, this is going to carry on for you. Esther has a bowl that she found. She doesn't really understand these Tibetan bowls. She doesn't know anything about them, except she likes the way they sound and feel. And she likes this particular bowl that she has. She hits it with this big cloth covered gong and it sends a reverberation into the room that she thinks she's only hearing but actually she's sensing the vibration of it at many levels and one of the first times that she hit it we said to her you know the vibration of this bowl will never cease your ability to hear it will your ability to sense it will but that vibration is in motion and it will be forevermore because the laws of the universe will continue to carry it. So what we're saying to you about what is happening here today is that this will reverberate within you forever. You might forget for a minute, but a little meditation will take you right back to it. This is the basis of who you are and it will lead you swiftly to all that you desire. We're not talking about years of meditation. We're not talking about isolation. We're not talking about separating yourselves from things that bother you, although that will be a temptation in the beginning because this feels so good and those people at work don't. This reverberation will last within you forever. So don't try to remember it because you've got it. You now know it and therefore you will always know it. And when you stumble across it or find the vibration of it intentionally, you'll feel it and you'll remember and then you'll be a little more ready to be a little more ready to be a little more.